Hi, I'm Dr. Gary Breslow. I'm going to talk today about uh, rhinoplasty recovery tips. This is Madison Kepa. She's our physician assistant. She's going to lead the question and answer, answer session. All right, Dr. Breslow, for rhinoplasties, when do you take out the packing? So packing to the extent that it's even put in comes out any time from in the recovery room to usually a couple of days after. Um, some doctors don't use packing and depending upon what's been done, Packing may not be done at all. Uh, I, if something's done with a septum, I generally use packing, and I usually leave it in for a day or two, depending upon what was done. When you get a nose job, does a lot of bleeding occur? And if so, when does the bleeding usually tend to stop? Some patients will have bleeding. They, uh, it, it can come out uh, through the front. You could also come come in the back, uh, which uh, can make a patient nauseous. Also, so uh, um, an anti-emetic is, off, is is a good idea to take as well. Um, the bleeding usually stops after about 24 hours, usually significantly slows down. Um, we, we usually place something called a drip pad on the nose, and that's usually changed every every couple hours until, until it stops. How long does it usually take for swelling to go down after a rhinoplasty? So swelling with a rhinoplasty is, is very common. Um, the bulk of the swelling uh, goes down usually within the first four to six weeks. Mm -hmm. um, if it, the tip swelling can take several months to even you know a year to a year and a half. Uh, there's a difference between an open rhinoplasty where an incision is made here at the base and a closed rhinoplasty where everything's done on the inside. The swelling is significantly less with a closed rhinoplasty than an open rhinoplasty. However, even with that, uh, more, more and more surgeons nowadays go with open rhinoplasties because the results have been uh, more predictable. So it's, we accept the fact that the swelling is going to last longer uh, in exchange for the more predictable results. So is there anything I can do to reduce the swelling that I'm going to have? So we, um, we give patients steroids in the operating room and then we give them a steroid medrol dose pack right afterwards. We also give patients uh, Arnica and Bromelin, which are two healing supplements, um, ice, for the first 48 hours, uh, trying to limit your activities, sleeping with your head elevated for the first 48 hours. These are all things within the first 48 hours in the first week or so that, that can help reduce the swelling because once it's swollen, then it's hard. The more swelling gets mm -hmm. in that first week, the hard, longer it takes for it to go down. Now, how can I clean or blow my nose? So you should avoid blowing your nose in the first, for the first four weeks. Um, cleaning your nose uh, once the packing comes out, if there is packing, uh, can be done gently as the surgeon is okay with it, depending on what was done, usually with a Q-tip and a small amount of peroxide. Okay. And how should I sleep after a rhinoplasty? First 48 hours, we recommend patients sleep with their head elevated, mm -hmm. usually with some cold compresses or frozen peas on their eyes. Um, and then after that, you can start sleeping more in, in a reclined position. But definitely not on your for the first six weeks, you cannot sleep on your um, stomach. Um, and for the first four weeks, we don't allow you to sleep. You have to sleep on your back. We don't allow you to sleep on your side either. Is there anything on your nose to protect it? or? We, uh, we only have a patient wear a splint for a week. Um, some surgeons take the splint off after a week and then have them wear it at night for the next five weeks, depending upon what was done. It also depends upon whether the nose is broken or not mm -hmm. in terms of... Uh, uh, maintaining the uh, structure of the bones. Are there any foods or drinks that I should avoid? Um, large foods that, are, that require you to open your mouth very wide, like big steaks or sandwiches. Also, spicy foods that can mm -hmm. cause your uh, your um, that can cause your nose to run. I would avoid. So bland foods are, are usually the go. best. Can I wear glasses after? Um, Again, if, if, the, if the nose is broken during the procedure, glasses should not be worn for the first really three to four weeks. Um, if, they, if, your if your nose was not broken during the course of the procedure, we usually say after the first week you can start wearing it. Okay. And can I smile after surgery? And if so, how will it be affected? So uh, smiling is, is fine in small doses, and I would try and avoid laughing and excessive laughing, things that, you know, uh, same, for the same reasons we don't we tell patients not to eat large foods that um, require the mouth to be open too large. Anything that could actually distort the, uh, the shape of the nose. Oftentimes when we do rhinoplasties, we have to put grafts in that require sutures. Any large movements of the face um, can cause the, the grafts to shift. So we try and avoid, tell patients to avoid doing anything that's going to put that at risk. Okay, that's it. Thank you. Thank you.